a three point class, but a lot of it is going to be two point in one hand, and then yeah. learn a few concepts with three point that apply to most of the tricks that we're learning. Um, yeah, so do we all know Superman? Is it right if your eyes spin or not? Uh, it needs the, the bounce. So you can start. Is it the bounce? You know, did it. So the hold the thumb play. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the weave always happens on the opposite side of the bounce. It's always like that. So if you're bouncing on the left, the spin is happening on the right. If you're bouncing on the right, the spin is happening on the left. Opposite side. So that can be applied. So instead of left, left, you can stick out one leg. Superman, and then we're applying it to both legs instead of on either side of the body. Yeah. So once you have both legs, you can get like a little nice like, walking motion. You keep stepping forward or even stepping back. So then if we look at the normal Superman and how the bounce happens on the outside every time, if we switch the bounce positions to the inside legs, it switches which leg the bounce happens on. So if I, we look at, say, the outside bounce on my left side, when we focus on just the one leg, that left side outside bounce is the inside of the right leg. So the outside of the right leg would be the inside of the left leg. So you can apply the inside of both legs to the Superman. Mm. So a nice pattern using uh, both inside and outside bounces would be started the Superman on say my right leg. I'm gonna go outside, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside. outside. So he's moving from left to right using every bounce. Like. Uh huh. Well, when you're moving from the left back over to the right, you can do the inside bounce a second time. So it'd be like right, right, left, 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 right, right, right. So three, three bounces on either side. Uh, so it starts with two, but then it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. One. Yeah, you you have to learn this first. This is like prerequisite. And uh, for those of you that have a third point, the easiest way you can apply the third point to the Superman is just simply do a two beat over your two beat by keeping it higher up above. The Superman will make it less likely to interfere with the Superman. So just this basic two beat weave can be applied to all these like inside. And again, you have to learn the Superman weave first before you can dive into everything. So my suggestion would be to try to keep the single point a little bit higher, so less chance of them colliding. And for me, it also helped me uh, learn the timing a little bit better. If I try to keep my hands together, that's when they're trying to start syncing up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, harder uh, version of that. You're putting your hand through that little gap right there, which can be difficult because it's almost colliding with the bouncy point. So you make sure you keep the single play up higher above the Superman, then there's less chance that they'll collide or that you'll get tangled. You weren't doing it wrong. That's definitely a way that you can do it. Uh, it's just the more difficult version. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay. <laughs> so everything that we just did, all the Superman uh, on both legs and stuff, can be done with a flip Superman or the pinky lead Superman. So same trick, but flipped hand, with thumb side down. Через фанфона не зайти можно. Similar to the Superman is the pendulum, I call it the pendulum weave. So instead of the secondary plane being in floor plane, switching directions, it's in wall plane, switching directions with just the pendulum. For this one I focus on just doing the weave and moving the weave from side to side very much exaggerating the left to right and then the pendulum will just kind of follow behind. Uh -huh. Can you see? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the reverse version of that, I hold my thumb side, pinky <coughs> side down, I'll throw my thumb side underneath as I pull to the right. Wrist is kind of flipped. This? Yep. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. It has the same feeling as the forward, just your hand is upside down. Uh, so it looks different. Um, and then also that same trick, but with the pinky doing the weave, the thumb dangling side to side, same thing, holding the pinky, I hold it across, pinky will go under. Whoa. Again, I really focus on the weave, uh, and not the pendulum, you start to think too much about the pendulum, you start to get like a, a force swing, which will cause the pattern to lose its timing. So really just focus on moving the weave from left to right. Uh, if we go back to that first, uh, the thumb side doing the weave in reverse, we go back to this one and then start pulling the weave into our body, get uh, a reverse Superman. So 
same, basically the same trick as this, except instead of the pendulum side to side, Just it's going to be a floor plan, yeah. Now, how to enter this move? How to enter it, uh, you can either go from the pendulum, or if that's too difficult, you can do the same idea as how we started, right before we just started from uh, static, but you can have the picky point moving around, and once the picky point is about to hit your side, you can throw your thumb point into the reverse weave. Uh, so the trick, what helped me learn both of these pendulums um, was the 1.5 weave with one hand because it is a mix of both pendulums. And so I'll break this down. Don't even try to get it. Right. So we're going to have our left hand out, right hand in reverse. The right hand is going to go under and pull the left hand back. So now we're in a switch position and the left hand will spin pull the right hand back. Mm -hmm. And it's not pulling back the stall chaser, it's just pulling back um, the hand that's spinning and moving under will just pull the other point back in a pendulum. So that's the, the pendulum version. And then if you kind of uh, bring it into the body, start using force to flip the bounce around, that'd be the... Use the force. Just use the force. <laughs> so the right will do a full spin. Uh -huh. So the way to do that in one hand would be, for me, I'm right hand dominant, so I'd start with my right hand out of my pinky grip, so that my thumb side is open to grab. I'll start to do this trick, thumb side, with your right hand, for me my dominant hand, my right hand moves under my left hand, so you can grab that free boy. Maybe if you have uh, the normal, it's called a 1.5, if you have this down but not in the meteor grip, probably what helps is to get into the meteor grip, then hold the left boy a little bit, and you can kind of guide. So you're still holding both of them, but you're... Uh, you're holding them both in both hands, but you still have your meteor grip. Slowly let go. The illusion of this trick, if you look at it from like the side, it looks very straight on and perfect like a butterfly, but when you look from the front, you can actually see that it's like very uh, bending of the plane. Really like a side to side uh, shift like of your weight. Uh, performance or you, how can you use this element in performance? It's uh, a small part of element index. Yes, so th there's a um, hand to hand, head to hand, head to hand, one hand. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. 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 And also, it's a this <laughs> trick um, is a mix of this trick. It's uh, it's uh, needs a lot of time to understand everything. Yes. Yes. But, uh, it's, uh, it's the first time. It's difficult to understand. <laughs> I see. Okay, we're gonna um, talk about the kryptonite. <coughs> Anyone done this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so we're in our normal Superman. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much it's a Superman that only bounces on one side. For me, I use my non-native side most of the time. Yeah, that's, yeah, yes, you can do it on your native side as well. 
the easiest way, I think, to explain this is after the bounce, for me, it happens on my left side, your hand is lifting up and you're focusing on the two beat weave part and not so much the bounce. If you keep your hand low, you're going to get bounces on both sides. But if once the bounce happens on my left, I lift my hand up and back around to that side, the bounce won't hit the other side of your body and will bend up in the air and move back down. So keep my hand low, bounce, bounce, bounce. Move my hand up, bounce, bounce. Yep. Almost feels like um, you're doing like a slight stall chaser with your one hand, almost like you're leading with your thumb and the pinky follows and the pinky falls back down. So, um, same idea of how we applied the Superman to one leg, the other leg, the Kryptonite, which usually happens for me on my non-native leg, can be applied to the inside of your native leg, or for you if you're doing it on your native leg, it'll hit on the inside of your non-native leg. So we're switching from, so we look at my left leg, I have the outside, which is this side, but if you look at the right leg, it's the inside, which is still that same side. Does that make sense? <laughs> outside, outside. Woo. Yes, it's painful at first, but eventually you learn it's more of just like a, you're using your leg to switch the direction rather than like smacking the poi into yourself repeatedly. At first you're going to be smacking the poi into yourself repeatedly and it's going to hurt. But uh, over time with practice it turns into more of a like stall with the direction switch. Uh-oh. -uh. First one down. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> More. More. <laughs> uh, something we can do from just normal Superman. A little bit easier of a concept. When my thumb poi is moving up to my non-native side, move up to the shoulder. Yep. And then once we get in this position, we'll extension over our head. Yeah, head to the negative space and it'll fall directly back into your Superman. Yes, yes. Uh, oh! Yeah. Um, this one? Yep. There's two variants of that. They're basically the same thing, but just so you know, that there are two variations. After you do the extension, you can either drop onto your non-native side or you can drop onto your native side. Uh, they'll both end up in the same exact trick, but just knowing the variations is a good thing. Oh, okay, okay, actually, forgot all about this whole step. So if we drop down onto the native side, you can go directly back into the extension. Yeah. Yes. Okay, turn your body to the left a little bit. I see. Yes. Kind of like a little plane bend. And a little bit of a plane bend, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now from here, pinky chases. Pinky over. Yes, and the pinky will fall down onto the native. You can actually do both sides, but uh, in this position, over the top. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we grab our third poi. It's a very, very simple three poi concept, but it is very, it just looks really, really good. So we hold our one hand butterfly, and behind it, we do a static poi, and then trace the poi with the butterfly. 
Yeah, and try to go as high as you possibly can. Then you can like shift down and shift back up. Uh, show please how do you how you start in the butterfly wheel. Uh, at first, I would start like this. Yeah, from the. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but now over time, um, I've gained strength in the thumb and index, so I can use my index to. Just focus on the one hand butterfly. Do you guys know like a down cap? So we're gonna try to do down caps with our butterfly. Oh, don't focus on doing the full pattern. Just focus on moving your hand left to right with every movement down. Every time you move down, try moving to the opposing side. And you don't have to do it a whole lot, just do a very subtle at first, just to get the feeling of moving your hand. Just a little bit, and then, and then it's the most, yes. Normal butterfly, just a slight left to right. Yeah, so if we take that third ploy, we're doing the butterfly. Our hand is going to stay on the head. Isolate the pendulum. <laughs> we start to get pendulum versus down tap. Okay, challenge success. <laughs> My brain hurts. <laughs> Good. This. Uh, show please uh, the Superman uh, from the Hyperloop that you showed on the oh, show. Oh yeah. Please. Uh, <laughs> so this is a weird. I don't really see many people doing this. It's like a. I'll just show you the whole trick. So there's either this one or the full. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, well, let's break it down. So this trick right here is an atomic wrap. It's not even a full tangle, it's just a wrap. And how I do that is left hand over right hand. And it's very, very weird, but left hand is going to be spinning counterclockwise if I look down. And right hand is spinning clockwise. What? <laughs> oh, so it's a cross arm atomic. And they're gonna like hit accidentally on first at first, uh, but then just play with the timing until it works. Записывай. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So right now we're doing the wrap, but our arms are what is tangled. So if we slide down to the rope, now instead of the arms touching, it's the ropes touching. Мы просто разводим руки и переплетаем. Right hand needs to spin clockwise. Uh, this. Yeah, so it's pretty much one of those like butterfloop type things. Yes, that's right. Uh, right hand uh, clock, yeah? Right hand clock, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's my beat. <laughs> so left hand counterclockwise, <coughs> right hand clockwise. Yeah. Left hand to the left. Right hand to the right. So it says we're already in our atomic, this leads right into the Superman. So you can practice your cross arms, two handed Superman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the pinch is the meteor grip. The touch of the ropes is the meteor grip. Ah. <laughs> So from there, 
instead of your wrists touching, your arms, it's going to be the ropes touching. <laughs> and it's going to be harder with the chain. The chain's going to make it very awkward and difficult to do, but it is possible. So then, um, if you're doing the, what do people call it? The Tangle Man. People call it the Tangle Man. It's like a Superman, but it's also a Tangle, tangle Man. And then you have the, uh, the Fan Tangle Four. <laughs> At first, I don't want to learn this kid. But I just want to keep in mind that, like, everything that we've learned in this class can be applied the tangle man. So like all the one leg stuff, other leg, and like on the inside. Oh, you see like all the uh, Can I show you one thing uh, yeah. from the front four? Uh, when you uh, make the first bounce, uh, you can uh, enter again on that side to make the angle melt, kind of. Yeah, 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 and then you can like release your meteor grip and you'll be in a twist. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, teach. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, on the native side, you uh, you tangle your boy, and uh, on the other side, untangle. Oh. Awesome, work on that. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of nearing time, but like, is there anything that you guys want to learn? Yeah. Kind of like through the stuff I had in my head. We like learned it all, but is there anything? What is it? Three point juggling. Three point juggling wall play? <laughs> uh, so always practice two for like an hour before you try three. The show is not about the one. Some trick maybe. Um, oh, a trick? Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, usually people always spin in front. Spin, mm -hmm. throw, spin, throw. You can spin behind the throw, so... Oh, the spin is going to be a Yeah. Um... How do you So every time you catch... Uh, I'm not too good at that. I can get a couple rotations, but when Jonathan taught it to me, he said to do your butterfly and then to change your perspective, like leaning back, slight angle back, and then start attempting it. And that always just worked better for me. Yeah, you're really focusing on the... Do your butterfly one more time. Yeah, so... 
I do the other butterfly, uh, and I use my thumb to anti spin. So what you're going to be using your your pinky is going to be doing anti spin. I guess no, that direction is going to be your thumb. Oh. If you move clockwise, it'll be your thumb. And John also told me just to really focus on like rotating your thumb as much as you can. Like focus on just the anti spin and moving your hand, and the pinky will kind of drag along. And also learn how you know, we did down caps. You need to learn up caps too. So it's an up cap with a slow drag. Oh. <laughs> so that's the hardest part is the drag across. It's not like a consistent extension. It's more like a, like a really. It's like an awkward. It just looks like a soft extension. Yeah. And so the variation I learned first was. Uh, This is what I learned first. That got me used to doing the up tap and then some kind of stall. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Cool, well, that was everything I had in mind. And I'll be here all day. If you guys have questions about anything. Video, yeah, let's do a recap. Okay, so this was a three poi, two hand, one poi class, blend of both. Uh, we went over the Superman and applying the Superman to different parts of our body, mainly either leg, inside, outside of right, inside, outside of left, and then instead of outside, outside, we also had inside, inside, which we look down, it's kind of like an anti spin the pinky boy and also like a isolation over it feels like, like the isolation and an anti spin and there was this pattern that moved from left to right hitting every bounce point in between outside and uh, inside and then all of that stuff but in a flip superman so with my pinky doing the weave Tonight, the one side <laughs> man. <laughs> that's the inside space. Oh. Uh, the <laughs> Forward. And then the reverse pendulum weave led into the reverse Superman. Oh, we went over the 1.5. Now this leads into the one handed 1.5. Side, it looks very straight on. When you look, or sorry, from the side, it looks very much in wall plane. But when you look at it from straight on, it's uh, very side to side and plane bending. We talked about butterfly, the static toy behind, it's tracing the toy that's just sitting there. Down and back up. Great visuals district. Talked about down caps, butterflies, <laughs> moving your butterfly from left to right on every down beat. Uh, we briefly talked about up caps, which is changing your butterfly from left to right with every up beat. And then down caps, up caps. So if we go into the Static boy butterfly. You start to pendulum your static boy and down cap your butterfly. It's a cool, cool little pattern. Uh, we did the Superman extension over the head back into Superman. So that can drop onto either the non native side 
or the native side. We drop onto the native side, we can continue the pattern one after the other. Uh, oh yeah, uh, talk about this tangle. It's an atomic. So the wrist touching, it's the ropes touching. And since this is an atomic, everything that we've learned applies. So all the one-legged. And, uh, we didn't go over Fantastic Four, but the Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four works. Uh, also the extension over the head. I know that. Yep. Yep. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yeah. So, you know a good drill for like being able to control your pinky versus your thumb spins? Uh, butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly all day long and yeah. That will help. Yeah, and also um, the pendulum weave, doing the pendulum weave will help you control splitting your hand. Mm -hmm. Pretty much you're splitting your hand yeah, into two different hands. Yeah, that's the rule. Yeah, and like still my left hand pinky side is like not as strong. My right hand is like... Way better. Like when you are spinning forward, they say like the control plane go next to a wall, and that's like the basic drill that you do. Like in a way, that's like the pendulum and forward spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I really like to just do this guy right here. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to grip, just grip, they'll hit each other. Yeah. So hit, so I can stick my index finger out. Yeah, yeah. I think exactly. a little more. I think that's a good drill too. Good drill, yeah. You don't see that if I stick my index finger out, it's just slightly higher as well. It's even less yeah. likely that they'll hit. Yeah, I kind of learned it like by error and error and try and try. Yeah. Cool. Woo! Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Boy! <laughs>